Well, hello. Welcome back to springtime in Medieval Dynasty. I wish we could name our village. I should name our village. But, um, we have some cabbage that is about to expire or rot, whatever you want to say. So if I just eat this raw right now, I will get poisoned. But if I cook it into a recipe, I'll be okay. So one thing we could do is maybe go do a little bit of hunting and get some meat and come back and make some pottage out of that. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to take one. We're a little bit low on food. So I'm going to consume one of those for myself. I'm going to head up here. Uh, to the neighbor's house and check on their food situation. I would really like to finish the food storage so we can get everything moved over there, but we have, you know, a bunch of things to do. Okay, they have pottage and some roasted meat left, so that's great. They're not starving, so I I believe uh, the the wisent that we saw up here should be renewable. Right, there should be new ones available for us to shoot. So, um, if you're new to the series, this is Medieval Dynasty. It's a game where we are building our own medieval village. And oh, there's one. Let's go. So we are gonna try to get some meat from this guy. I forgot to save it before I did this, so hopefully we don't die. Okay, so he got one good hit on us. There's another one there, but um, last time we got quite a bit of food out of this, so. And I don't think they come like revenge their buddy or anything, so we should be okay. Um, I want to drop off some of these sticks at the storage here. It's good to have some, okay, we'll drop off these feathers as well. So we have, we got 25 meat out of that. That's very good. Okay, yeah, we'll drop off the 27 sticks. That should help us not hit our limit. Although we do need more bowls. I have some bowls down at the house, but I'm going to need, maybe we'll do two logs worth of bowls. If you didn't see me do this in a previous episode, basically we make bowls, we take the bowls to, with the meat, bowls and cabbage, and we make something called pottage. And then, for right now, I'll actually probably just leave it in our house because we're going to finish that food storage building. And eventually, we will put it in there. We'll take that and we'll take all these cabbages and go to the cauldron. And okay, this is letting us make seven. That's really good. I could pay closer attention to what goes into the recipe, but I just pretty much grab a stack of each and uh, good to go. I think we might be able to do more. We have five meat here. So let's go see. Oh, nice. We got a crafting level. Let's go here. If we want sewing knowledge, we definitely want cooking knowledge, I think. Insulating walls for lower firewood. Oh, that's helpful too. 5% slower durability on hammers. Okay, I cook. I'm I'm gonna be cooking a lot, so I'm gonna go with this one. All right, and then under technology, this is just this simple house we unlocked. I believe last episode we unlocked this uh, type of housing provides a safe place to sleep and accommodate villagers. Has a stone campfire in the cauldron inside. They they all say that, but this simple house is like I said in the last episode. It's bigger. It allows you to have four people. Okay, so we unlocked the herbalist hut. We're getting, we're not that close to fishing. So I need to do more hunting on my own, I guess. Pigsty we have, I would love to build that, but 
I don't know if it's worth using one of our... We only have one building left. You know, I don't know if that's worth it. It's hard to say if it if it is. Okay, so let's take maybe like 20... Yeah, 26. That's perfect. Over here... We're going to have the food storage done here pretty soon, I hope. Uh, let's go with the cauldron. Oh, it's the meat we're going to be out of. All right, well, that's fine. Now we have a bunch of fresh cabbage down here that I can eat. I don't think it's low enough that it's going to poison me. We'll look. It is at 50%, so we're okay. We can eat a little bit of it. What did I hit? Wrong button. Try again. Can you imagine just like throwing down five cabbages? Om nom. Alright, anyways, uh, let's go... Let's go with... I think we're going to need like probably 12 more logs so I keep doing this I keep being like oh let's not let's not get all the close trees and I go just a little bit further every time man those links scare me so since I got rid of all those sticks I might be able to actually fit two trees worth of logs this trip which would be good I'm already encumbered a little bit. Okay, here we go. We cannot walk. Do we have anything we could just drop that, that's heavy enough that we don't care about leaving out here? We have we have these two wood shovels that we're carrying around even though we have a bronze shovel enabled. Like stuff like that, I really need to work on not being an idiot about it. Uh, it looks like we need to drop some of these. But at the same time, this is like why I'm out here. Very frustrating. Let's go ahead and drop those. That should be easy enough to spot. I don't know how quickly they respawn. Like, if I just cleared all these trees and left the logs laying on the ground in a pile, would they stay? Would they despawn? I don't want to risk it. It's just my personality. I can't. It won't, my, my brain won't let me risk it. But I'd be curious to know how it handles that. We need like six more logs. Very frustrating. Okay, let's do something like that. And let's... What, what am I hitting here? There we go. We'll eat that dandelion. I think I want to be on the inside here. Or... I always count those in my head. Oh, I have to go this way. This is one of the most important buildings in the whole settlement, honestly. Once you have this going, like, I, <clears throat> I ran my village with just one food storage building for years, like, decades really okay so we need three logs there and then was it like 10 more we'll see what we have in storage up here but this is the job this is the job I want to get done this episode like other stuff great if I can run into town and buy some manure fantastic but 
the logs out of priority. That is so irritating. Ah! Alright, let's get rid of these wooden shovels and our wooden hammers at 6.6. .6. Perfect. Do we have sticks with us? We do. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a backup hammer. Oh, our people need water. Okay. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Boom. Boom. So we need six more. Okay, let's get their water skin filled up for them. I don't know if we can make a bucket yet. Oh, it puts... Uh, it puts it in the resource storage. Once it's empty, they return it here. Right here. Oh yeah, it's at 92%. That's not bad. So we can put it in our four spot here. get ourselves a drink while we're down there. So while I'm waiting for my energy to come back, I can explain something about these berries. So if you look at the berries right now, if I pick them, see there's they're not ripe. So they'll go in your inventory as unripe berries. And if you eat them, they'll make you sick. So you don't want to do that. But the nice thing about the unripe berries, I mean, the berries themselves, is that you can you can pick them and use them in recipes, or you can eat them when they're ripe, or you can let them rot, which is what we're trying to do. Let them rot, and then, because I think I did like 300 berries, you know, it took me two minutes to pick them all, and that will turn into 30 fertilizer. You know, that allows us to plant a whole field. So, just one of those little tricks you, you, you pick up along the way. Uh, okay, so we need six more logs. There's the ones that we threw on the ground. I think it was four that we threw on the ground. So we can just get a couple more here. get this one. That's scary. I don't think they'll aggro. They usually run away, yeah, just like that. So will it let us carry these? Or will it be so slow that it's not worth it? Uh, maybe I'll drop them at the edge of the woods so I can grab them in a pinch later. Is I need six. So maybe we go ahead and drop two. And once this is done, I'll start moving food from the barn over. And then when the hunters the, the meat will start showing up in here, which will be really good. Okay, food storage. So it, it this is the where it's going to show up. We don't have any with us right now, but then we won't have to put food into their house anymore. It can just go in there. So we'll put the cabbage in there. Okay, that's all we'll put half the cabbage <laughs> in there.
Oh, see, they already started putting meat in. The hunter already started putting meat in there. That is exactly what we wanted. And I'll go get our some of the stuff out of my house and bring it up here. This is gonna be it's gonna be important for the long term health of the settlement. Do we feel like we have time to go okay, definitely take those. That let's take the fur and the leather up to storage. Let's take half of that. Uh, everything else is fine down here. Do we have time to run into town to do a Oh, we have to go talk to Sambor. Oh, that's that's closer to us. I'm okay with that. All right, good. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can advance our thing here. But we also need to go buy manure. Well, let's do this first. I'm going to keep my eyes open for bad guys uh, out this way. Because we saw that one bandit camp up here on the right. And I wouldn't put it past the game to have fresh bandits now that it's a new season. And they really made this forest feel extra creepy. Some of these ambient sounds. Not meant to be a horror game, but sometimes it can be a little scary. I'm gonna go boom and boom again. Check for that wolf we saw last time. Okay, here he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, I don't mean to spoil this for people, but... Okay, we got paid 100 coins for that, which is nice, but also seems a little bit silly. Okay, ba ba ba. Wait for the next day. Okay. Did that unlock? No, it didn't. Uh, it's important for us to remember that there's these clay pits up here at Zambors because we're going to need clay to insulate our houses. We need it to make a daub. Can I hit that? You think? I think I can hit it. Oh, I missed. I could have hit it. I just wiggled. Silly me. Okay, let's try that one. Are you kidding me? Okay, the first one I will admit was my miss. The second one feels a little tricky. 
so you can kill a moose with this. Why is that pig sprinting? I literally don't think I've ever seen a pig sprint in this game. Unless you hit it first. See, I'm not that bad of a shot. I can occasionally hit my shots. Skin this boar, get a little bit more meat. Usually where there's one, there's a couple more. We could get that lynx, maybe? Nope, it's too smart. The pig started running up here, so maybe there's another one up here. I really should be running to town to buy manure. The moose is not happy that I'm here. I think you need maybe two headshots to kill a moose. What I don't like about trying to shoot big game with this is that you end up having to chase them because they don't drop instantly like that pig did. Don't want any part of a lynx right now. How much meat did we get from those two pigs? We got... Oh yeah, we have this leather and fur I wanted to drop. 16 meat. That's good. So right now we can't do anything with the leather and fur because we don't have the sewing building, whatever it's called, like the seamstress, seamster building. Taylor? Taylor. Called the tailor. We don't have the tailor built yet, but once we get that, it'll be it'll be good. So feathers in here, fur in here, leather in here, logs in here, meat will go down this yonder. Straw, yeah, that's fine. Gosh, I wish it would recover your stamina when you're in a box, right? Like, when I come in here and I'm tinkering around in this box, I wish your stamina would restore. Okay, so... 122 cabbages and 32 meat. Yeah, maybe we cook some more of that cabbage tomorrow. One thing I like about, I don't think I run to town right now, I think I'll do that next in-game day, and we'll get our, we'll, we'll do all, all of our planting in the next in-game day, but one thing I like about this uh, management tab, we can look at this and see, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, we also have to pay our taxes next, uh, tomorrow. We can look here and see, okay, we have plenty of wood on hand. That would be firewood plus your sticks plus your logs, and any of that can be cooked. So we're good on firewood. Water demand is fine. They, d they need 60 per day. They have 80 in their little water skin. And I can make a bucket and fill it so this will be exceeded for a while. And then over here, this is what I really wanted to see. Our demand for food is 60 per day. I guess it must be 20 per person, and since I'm here, I count towards that, or it's 30 per person for the NPCs. But we have 60, and we have over 1,000 covered, so we're not even close to a problem on that. Love that. So I'm happy to see we're doing okay on that front. 
when we go into town, we're going to buy... Let's check the... So it's two, two to one for manure. So four plus... Uh, I don't know. This is going to be crazy. Let's assume we definitely want to do a full field of flax. If we can afford it, I would like to buy probably the rye we plant in the autumn, but everything else we plant now. Honestly, I think we buy as much, we'll buy all the manure. Um, I wish that there was a clock because I want to know if I have time to get there before they shut down. Uh, you know what I haven't done is I haven't really looked around down on the the beach going that way. So maybe we'll explore that here real quick and see if there's any any features we might want to do because if we look at the map I'm gonna guess that that where this road is here like you're probably able to go here but out this way is where it's gonna start to say like stay in the valley but how far up here can you go you know what I mean like it seems like there could be quite a way so let's let's do some exploring we can always run to town tomorrow we can pay our taxes buy manure and plant crops all tomorrow we got all of our building done we have one building to spare and I'm not even sure what we want it to be so maybe when we get done with a couple more maybe when we get done with these farm missions that will allow us to hire more workers I've probably already said it, but I'm not a huge fan of, of having the game dictate how big I'm allowed to get, and I hate that. I hate having a build limit. So, oh, oh, it's that close. Oh, geez, let's look at that map again. It's that close? Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. What the heck? I wonder if I could build some, well I can't build a building, but, jeez, I don't know if maybe I should just like lay a log across here so I know where my limit is out this way. So here is fine. Oh, maybe that. Maybe that's kind of an indicator. Here is fine. I mean, this is right where we were, where we killed those pigs. So here is, I bet it's going to turn me back. No, here's fine still. Is it this ridge? Nope, not fine anymore. Huh. That's crazy.
Where did we discover Wizen? I don't see Wizen. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not picking a fight with a Wizen right now. Is that deer? Oh, good. I think deer are the best, like, amount of meat and leather for the one-shot kill. The bigger animals you have to chase and take multiple shots. The deer you can sneak up on, like I just did that one. And I think it's just a better, better option. I might actually take this meat home. The heck, dude? Must have gotten turned around. Yeah. I might just take this meat to my house and make more pottage at my house. So you might be wondering about these, um, these mushrooms that I keep running past. These moral mushrooms. Morel mushrooms. Uh, I can't do anything with them. The recipe that I will be able to use them for is mushrooms and eggs. And I'm nowhere near unlocking that. It's probably 30, 40 hours into the game that you can you can dice up your mushrooms into your into your eggs. Not that I'm the least bit salty about that. There are a few things with the recipes that I just fundamentally disagree. And I've I've made it known. <laughs> Trust me, I've expressed my thoughts in all public forums I have access to. Uh, it's okay. We only share these things because we love it. My thought is, and I probably nobody's watching the video at this point, but my thought would be to have skills. You know, I, I like the idea of having some of these blocked, but I wish that it was a little bit more logical. So, like, if you know how to fry eggs, which is, like, pretty basic, if you know how to fry eggs, you should be able to also dice up mushrooms and throw them in there. Like, why, why are those two things... If you can make porridge, why can't you throw berries in your porridge? Like it's just it's just foolish. But anyways, uh, we'll talk about that another time. Thank you so much for being here, uh, for checking out the episode. We're slowly but surely growing, and uh, next episode we'll get some crops planted for this second year in the in the in the valley. Alright, thanks so much. See you next time. Bye for now.